Welcome back, everyone, and thank you for joining us on this online service. Of course, I'm Cardinal William Scoggins with the Ecumenical Order of Christ, the only church bringing you the truth of Christ's return. If you haven't got it already, we have the Return of Christ book available for purchase. We'll put a link in the comment section below. And without further ado, I would like everyone, if you do have your book, to turn to page 183 for the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who is in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our essential bread today and forgive us our debts as we have also forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever in Lord Rael's holy name. Amen. Thank you. Now the creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of the heavens and earth. I believe in Yeshua the Christ, his transcendent son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born unto mankind. He was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and was seated at the right hand of the Father. He has come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the word of God, the returned Christ, Lord Rael, in his great commandment to love God and love each other. In the holy ecumenical order of Christ, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Now, today what I want to go over is chapter 24. If you're following along, it's on page 39. Title chapter, American Christians Punished First. As Lord Rael said, one cannot complain about the behavior of other children unless they are willing to discipline their own. He has also said, an undisciplined child is an unloved child. American Christians have spread a false version of the gospel around the world, a work of Satan made to cause confusion in believers and rejection of the returned Messiah. Their blasphemies are greater than we could possibly list here on this page, and they are deserving of chastisement. But Lord Rael, striking American Christians before others, is also a fulfillment of prophecy. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 17. For the time has come for judgment to begin, and to begin at the house of God. And if it begins with us, what will be the end of those who reject God's good news? Or excuse me, who reject God's good news? Yes, correct. So it's very important. He started in America. He's Lord Rael, Raymond L. Wood Lear, the house of the Holy Spirit, is from, from America. Now, I want to turn to chapter 105, page 160. The importance of white robes. Why are white robes and white garments mentioned so often in the Bible? when describing the divine. Because the Anunnaki use white clothing to symbolize greatness and purity. As the evolutionary pinnacle of perfection achieved when someone rises from darkness into light. As we've, as we've taught you, Hollywood has been, use, has been used to give you educational glimpses of what the Illuminati know as a way of subconsciously preparing you. One of the most obvious is using the story of Cal L, 
aka Superman, as a metaphor for Rael, Christ, an alien survivor from a dying planet, Nibiru, in the movie, it's Krypton, sent to Earth by his father, Jor-El. After a heated debate with the glowing white-robed council, landing in America to be raised by a farmer and his wife. Raymond Elwood Sr. was also a farmer. Mark chapter 9, verse 3, His clothes became dazzling white, whiter than anyone in the world could bleach them. Revelation chapter 7, verse 9, After this I saw many multitudes which were impossible to count, which, which were of all people, generations, nations, and languages, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, and wearing white garments and with palms in their hands. Matthew chapter 28, verse 3. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothes were white as snow. Psalm 104, verse 2. The Lord wraps himself in light, as with a garment. He stretches out the heavens like a tent. I told you I wouldn't keep you long on this beautiful Saturday. Thank you again all for tuning in online. Don't forget to eat right, exercise, pay your tithes, love God, love each other. In Lord Rael's holy name, amen.